sure everyone can see me. Everybody, uh, welcome to the T blocks. T blocks were put in here by people who are kind of sick and tired of judging the height differences on a non level surface. We made a perfectly level T here so that a scientific observer standing at this end could judge the height difference between two people standing at either end of the T over there. So the observer could also be on a level surface. And these were perfectly level blocks until in 1989, Loma Prieta earthquake came through the area, knocked the block in half here, offsets these ends by about three quarters of an inch. You'll see the level we'll read it is a little bit off, about a sixteenth of the bubble it goes over to this side. It says this side's a little bit higher. It's really not that far off, but it's not perfectly level. Um, let's see, uh, sir, in the 76, there we go. Want to kind of savvy fix this up for me? Place the level along the block to make sure it's about the same no matter where you put it. Yeah, pretty close, yeah? Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, can I be stand up here for me actually though? Not quite done with you. And can you help me out? One down and right about here for me. Guys. Um, and I need one more person to be my scientific observer. I usually reserve this for anyone on the tour who is an engineer. Do we have any engineers here today? Huh? All right. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Come on, stand up here for me. Okay, you're going to be my scientist today. That means we're going to trust you to be perfectly objective and tell it exactly as you see it. Think you can handle those responsibilities. Okay. This is my most difficult question. In your scientific opinion, sir, who is taller? Okay, he's taller. I hope you didn't have to think about that one too hard. <laughs> have you estimate about how much taller he is? I'm just going to raise my level. Tell me when they're about the same height. Tell me when to stop. Right here. Up or down any is okay. Pretty close? Okay. I'm going to switch places, guys. Okay, go and tell me when to stop now. <laughs> okay, we get the idea though, right? It's about a foot of height change on average on the T block, in comparison to the very small amount they are offset by. We see the most significant changes right here. We do have to be a little bit careful though when we have like infants or toddlers on the T block, they end up disappearing completely. Anyway, a round of applause for volunteers. Thanks, guys. I want to do one last demonstration to show you guys. I'm not caused by an optical illusion with the fence line. I don't just appear taller on this side because I'm above the fence line. Shorter when I get over here, so I'm below it. Do you want to help me out with this? Go on down and right about here for me. Yeah. And we're going to face our audience, but look towards each other, get a good idea about how tall we are relative to each other. Obviously, though, when we're faced this way, we're not affected by the fence line, right? Be fairly silly, as we established earlier. So we're going to switch places. You guys can watch this. Go and slide that way for me. <coughs> can you see a difference there? Yeah. yeah, you can easily see it without looking at the fence line. Showing you once again, it's not accounting for all the height change we can see here. Go ahead and switch back for me. That was for no other purpose other than I like to feel taller. So a round of applause for our last volunteer. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. All right, guys. Actually brings us just about to the end of our tour. Of course, before we go, I need to address the two questions I promised I would at the beginning. What's going on here and how does it do that? I don't really know. <laughs> I know, I know. I lead you guys on this entire time and let you down at the end here. It's probably why I don't get very many tips. But of course, if there was a big solution to the mystery, it really wouldn't be called the mystery spot anymore, right? It's called like the solved spot. No one would come here. I'd have to get a real job. There are, of course, quite a few theories <coughs> trying to explain what's going on. I'll share with you some of the more popular theories we have. First one starts way up in the sky with the hole in the ozone layer. Don't be embarrassed for looking, guys. We had a group take pictures once. True story. So this theory states, as light enters the atmosphere, the hole in the ozone layer, it comes in at a strange angle, <coughs> causing it to refract. It's much like when you put a straw into a glass of water, it seems to bend, right? basically saying the bending in light is causing us to see things incorrectly. That's why we see the strange height changes and the leanings we do today. A uh, more complicated optical illusion, essentially. Another theory says that below us is a giant pool of magma that's spinning in the opposite direction of the Earth. We're leaning into that spin, 
causing all of the strange gravitational forces that we can feel here today. Now the theory says that under the hillside is a fault line, it's leaking up CO2 gas. We're all just hallucinating the whole experience. I don't really care what you say about that one though. If that's the case, then it's a pretty good deal for five bucks, right? <laughs> Last but still the most popular theory states that thousands of years ago an alien spacecraft landed in the hillside below us. Buried there today and its engine is still on, causing all of the strange effects we can feel and see here today. Anyway, does anybody have any theories of their own or any questions they wanted to ask before we go? Why do the levels work? Like, why is there a discrepancy between what a level is showing with the chapstick or the ball? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess that kind of brings, I mean, like, that, that does, to think about it, you wouldn't be able to know for sure that it's the level is not the other thing, right? So, yeah, that's a good point. But I still think, I think it would be, I think it's interesting if a level's off as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good point. I don't think you would really be able to know which one is correct. But it's like, it's like whatever's going on, is it act affecting differently the water and the air and the level and the... Right, the so yeah, like yeah. That's yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Um, Great question. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh, have any more questions for me, I'll be following you down the hill as we go. You can come up to me on the hillside, try to answer all.